Okay, next one, properties of enzymes. The first and the most important and the vital property related to that one is the catalytic ability or catalyst ability. So as we already discussed that these are the proteinaceous compounds which are uh, having the ability of uh, catalyzing the chemical reactions which are taking place inside the living cells. So these uh, will catalyze the reactions. In which uh, they are helping in the conversion of the substrate molecule into product molecule. In this process, they never change the equilibrium of the reaction or never disturb the equilibrium of the reaction. But they, what they will do is they will speed up the rate of reaction. So that means uh, the time taken for uh, completion of the reaction will be reduced by the enzymes. This is a catalytic ability exhibited by the enzymes. Next one specificity. Like enzymes uh, as we are seen in the nomenclature that uh, names of the enzymes are uh, sometimes related with that of uh, name of the substrate or type of reaction or both of them. So here that means uh, one particular enzyme is there means it will act on that particular substrate only or it will participate in that particular type of reaction only. That specificity or we can say that uh, substrate specific or uh, reaction specific. will be there. That is, uh, if an uh, enzyme is there, if it is uh, taking part in that particular type of uh, reaction, so then only it will uh, speed up the reaction or it will act as a catalyst in that particular type of reaction. Otherwise, if the same enzyme is taken for other type of reactions or uh, if it is used for other substrate molecules, it will not uh, show its catalytic ability. That is the specificity that is exhibited by the enzymes. Like uh, as we have discussed that uh, maltase is an enzyme which will uh, act on maltose only. So likewise uh, nuclease which will act only on the nucleic acids. So likewise that specificity will be there related to their catalytic ability. Then reversibility. So enzymes have uh, one other specific property that is uh, there are some enzymes which will uh, participate in particular reaction where they will catalyze the reaction in a reversible manner also. Like let us take one example that uh, fructose 1,6-bisphosphate. So here an enzyme called as uh, aldolase will act on it and convert that into glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate and uh, dihydroxyacetone phosphate. So here the same aldolase enzyme will uh, help in the conversion of uh, these two compounds into fructose 1,6-bisphosphate. That is what the same enzyme is participating in the reversible reaction. So that ability or that property is called as a reversibility. Then active in minute quantities. So here enzymes are the organic compounds which are required in a very minute quantity and that minute quantity is enough for the catalytic property to fasten the reaction. So that uh, other ability related to the properties of the enzymes. So here every enzyme have its own ability that is uh, ability to convert the substrates into products. So that is here, there is one concept is called as a turnover number. We call it as TON. That is uh, the number of substrate molecules converted into products. by 
वन मॉलिक्यूल ऑफ एंजाइम इन वन मिनट इज कॉल्ड एज टर्न ओवर नंबर सो हियर दिस टर्न ओवर नंबर शोज द एक्टिविटी और द रेट ऑफ रिएक्शन और वी कैन से द पोटेंशियलिटी दैट इज प्रेजेंट इन द एंजाइम दैट मीन्स डिफरेंट एंजाइम्स विल हैव डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ डिफरेंट टर्न ओवर नंबर्स लेट अस टेक सम ऑफ देम दैट इज सुक्रेज एंजाइम इज देयर एंड द टर्न ओवर नंबर ऑफ सुक्रेज इज टेन थाउजेंड इन द सेम वे यूरी इज हियर द टर्न ओवर नंबर इज नियरली टू लैक्स एंड कैटल इज The turnover number is a uh, five million, and uh, carbonic anhydrase. Here, the turnover number of carbonic anhydrase is a uh, thirty-six uh, millions. Likewise, different uh, enzymes will have different turnover numbers. So, based on the turnover number, we can say that uh, the ability or the potentiality of the, or the reaction. to be converted in a faster manner and here the turnover number depends upon the number of active sites which are present on the enzyme molecules so that uh, uh, more number of uh, substrate molecules can occupy those uh, number of active sites which are present on the enzyme and they are converted into the products in a short period of time next one is molecular weight as the enzymes of proteins they have high molecular weight it depends upon the number of amino acids which are present in that one like if you take peroxidases peroxidases here the molecular weight of peroxidases is uh, 40000 daltons and uh, the molecular weight is catalase is a uh, Two lakhs fifty thousand daltons. So likewise, uh, it depends upon the nature of that protein molecule uh, or enzyme molecule. The next one is the colloidal nature. The enzymes will have the colloidal nature so that they can occupy more sites. are providing the more size to the substrate molecule so if they have large surface area so that they will be providing more sites for the substrate to occupy the active sites which are present on the enzyme molecule next one sensitivity here uh, the enzymes are sensitive to temperature and also to the ph so like uh, these are uh, thermolabile that is uh, they are heat sensitive actually here uh, uh, when the temperature is less or it is at zero so gradually as the temperature increases what happens is uh, the activity of that catalytic activity of the enzyme will increases but it will reach at a it will reach a peak level at the optimum temperatures and beyond the optimum temperatures once again the catalytic ability will comes down so that is uh, at high temperatures uh, they will be heat sensitive or they will become destructive because uh, these are proteinaceous in their nature and uh, at high ph also so these uh, enzymes are sensitive to high ph also and of course depending upon the type of enzyme molecule some of them are activate uh, low ph some of them are activate high ph but majority of the enzymes are active at uh, neutral ph that is around 7 value 